Today we are unboxing something exciting from D Robotics. Inside this box is a game changer for robotics and AI powered vision. But the real question is what's inside? Let's find out together. First up we have the Arctic X3 case sleek, sturdy and designed to keep everything protected. Next, the RDK X3 camera module because what's AI vision without a high performance camera. And finally, the star of the show, the RDK X3 development board itself. This kit promises cutting edge performance for AI, computer vision and robotics applications. So first let's go through each component in detail and then we will start the assembling. The Arctic X3 is powered by a quad core ARM Cortex A53 processor running at 1.5 GHz, coupled with a dual core Bernoulli BPU delivering an impressive 5 tops of AI performance. It comes with either 2 GB or 4 GB of LPDDR4 RAM, ensuring smooth multitasking and AI processing. The board supports high performance multimedia. For connectivity, it features dual band Wi Fi support and Bluetooth 4.2. Now let's take the RDK X3 development board out of the box and go through all its interfaces one by one. Starting with storage, it features a TF card slot for expandable memory. USB Type-C power port. For camera and sensor integration, we have two MIPI CSI two-lane connectors, debug headers. When it comes to USB connectivity, the board includes one high-speed USB 3.0 Type-A port and two USB 2.0 Type-A ports, along with a micro USB 2.0 device port. Networking options include an RG45 gigabit Ethernet port for fast wired connections. For expansion and interfacing, there is a 40-pin GPIO header which aligns with the Raspberry Pi Specium signal layout as well as a dedicated debug UART interface. For display output, there is an HDMI 1.4 port supporting resolutions up to 1080p at 60Hz. The system runs on Ubuntu 20.04 or 22.04, making it ideal for AI, robotics and embedded applications. Despite its powerful capabilities, the board remains compact at just 85 by 56 by 20 millimeters and is designed to withstand extreme operating temperatures from minus 25 degrees Celsius to 95 degrees Celsius. The RDK camera is a high performance module designed specifically for the D Robotics RDK X3 board. It features the Sony IMX219 image sensor with an 800W rolling shutter ensuring excellent image quality and stability with a 77 degrees field of view. The camera connects through a CSI interface using a 24P FPC connector for high speed and reliable data transmission. Its compact design and strong compatibility with RDK X3 make it ideal for AI vision, robotics and edge computing applications. Finally, the RDK X3 case. The RDK X3 case is a sturdy, full metal Blake enclosure designed for the D Robotics RDK X3 development board. Its durable construction provides excellent heat dissipation, helping to keep the board cool and extend its lifespan. The case has precisely placed openings for easy access to ports and antennas, ensuring stable connectivity. It's easy to assemble and disassemble secured with four screws. The RDK X3 development board is now completely ready. Next, we need to flash the operating system onto the SD card, so let's do it. First, you need to visit this page. I will also add a link in the video description. Anyway, scroll down until you find the image download section and make sure RDK X3 is selected. Do not select the RDK X3 module. Once RDK X3 is selected, go ahead and click on download image. You will see three types of operating system images. RDK Ultra, RDK X3 and RDK X5. You need to click on RDK X3. After clicking on RDK X3, select RDK Operating System 2.1.1. Now click on Release. Here we need to install the desired operating system. You can see that we have both desktop and server versions available. 
But now let's go ahead and download the pre-installed desktop version. While your operating system is downloading, go ahead and download and install the Bellina Azure software as well. We will use this software to flash the image file onto the micro SD card. As you can see, the operating system image file has been downloaded, but it's in a compressed format. So let's extract it first. The file has been successfully extracted and is now ready to be flashed. For this, we'll be using Berlin H software, which I have already installed. So let's go ahead and open the software. Click on flash from file. Browse to the location where you extracted the operating system image file. Select it and click open. Next, click on select target. I have already inserted the micro SD card into my laptop, so I will select it. Finally, click the flash button. As you can see, the operating system has been successfully flashed onto the micro SD card. Insert the micro SD card into the micro SD card slot on the RDKX3 development board. I also connected this monitor to the RDKX3 development board using an HDMI cable. I have made a detailed video on the unboxing, review and testing of the screen. Apart from that, I have also connected this keyboard. Now it's completely ready to power on. I'm going to use this 12V 3M adapter that comes with a DC barrel jack. But the issue is that there is no DC female barrel jack on the RDKX3 development board. For the power supply input, it has a USB-C port, so I will have to use a USB cable. For this, I'm going to use my designed 5V 3M power supply. I have added two USB ports, so I can use any type of USB cable. I've used it in countless projects and it works exceptionally well. I will add a link in the description if you also want to make the same power supply. Let's power it up. You can see the red and green LEDs are turned on. Let's wait for a few seconds. Once the green color LEDs start blinking, it means the operating system is booting up and everything is fine. Let's give it a few more seconds. The system is initializing in the background, setting up all necessary processes and getting everything ready for us. We don't have to do anything, it handles everything automatically. I didn't have to do anything and I'm already on the desktop. Seriously, I wasn't expecting this at all. I thought I would have to go through multiple steps, but it booted directly to the desktop. Amazing. I've also connected the mouse and before doing anything else, let's connect the RDKX3 development board to the Wi-Fi. It has displayed the available Wi-Fi networks. So I'm going to click on my Wi-Fi network. As you can see, it has successfully connected to the Wi-Fi network. After that, I also checked the D-Robotics developer page online. And not just that, I even played some videos on YouTube using this development board. Isn't it cool? While working on a project, we can play a tutorial video, listen to our favorite singer in high quality HD, watch a movie, and honestly watching a documentary on this feels like a whole different experience. If you go to the applications on the top left corner, you will find accessories, development, graphics, internet, multimedia, system, settings manager, terminal emulator, web browser, run program, and logout. If I click on logout, you can see logout restart and shutdown. Apart from this, if you want to write a Python program, you can use Tony IDE. I have created many projects using Tony IDE and very soon we will be building some amazing projects using the RDKX3 development board. Personally, I really like the D Robotics RDKX3 development board because first it is compact in size, completely portable and quite affordable as well. So that's all for now. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode. And thanks for watching.